So next comparison, Golf Mark 6 and Mark 7 GTI now. So that's the Mark 6 chain driven engine as uh, already published and explained in the former video. So just have a look in the video before uh, so you can uh, see all the details. I don't need to explain this again. Uh, maybe one thing which I want to show you last time I because this is the Gen 2, there was also a Gen 1, yeah? And the Gen 1 is outside, I will show you now, come. So now I show you also the, the Scirocco, it's the EA888 Gen 1. Um, the weak points, or the most weak point on this engine is the piston or piston rings. They have a high oil consumption, not all, but some of them. And also we don't have this closed loop lambda, the lambda control, which is monitoring and adjusting the lambda to the value which we want to have. So therefore, I'm not recommending this engine type. CAW is the engine code, Gen 1. And also you can recommend, uh, no, you can see it on the, on the pump. That's the high pressure fuel pump. And you see it's a um, complete different design. It looks like a UFO. Huh? It's closed. Like this one here, you, can, you cannot, like the oil filter, you, it's not um, possible to open the pump. Yeah? So therefore, I don't recommend this one. Better go for the Gen 2. And now we go back. Now I show you the Mark 7. So that's our Mark 7. Also GTI, CHHA engine. Uh, in the S3 or the Club Sport or the R, you have the CJX, which is very similar. There's not much different. Uh, I'm very lucky about they solved the chain issue. And also what is most important for, on this engine, which they solved is the carbon deposit in the intake manifold. And the injectors are also not so, uh, um, they don't get so, so much dirt as before on the former model. The uh, reason for this, we have four direct injector and also four in the manifold. They put four on the manifold on top, so they clean the combustion, the, the combustion chamber and they clean the intake chamber or the channel. It's uh, cleaned from the fuel. And um, it's also very good for us for the tuning, of course, because we don't need to add any big injectors when we go for high power. We can use this uh, four plus four injectors and then we have enough fuel because more power means also more fuel. And this is also a nice gift a present from uh, Volkswagen or Audi to us. They think about us sometimes. <laughs> uh, what you have to do um, is uh, very easy stuff. You can install the, the spark plugs and our coils. It's important to make this and it's also easy to install because when we tune an engine, you have higher combustion temperatures. And of course, uh, then if you have a spark plug, which is a race spark plug, it helps for the, for the um, combustion and then you don't run into too hot temperatures or you don't get a melted piston or holes in the piston and stuff like that. Also, catch tank system is uh, also important on those because the OEM um, PCV system is very weak and not big enough, especially if you go hard pushing on the track. Sometimes you see on the, in the, they go in the corner and then you have smoke coming from the exhaust. So this is when they run the stock uh, PCV system without catch tank. So I recommend always to put in a catch tank system like this one. And we also have the pose and the turbo inlet. And in this case, we also have the VW Racing uh, intake system, which works very well. It's not so, um, uh, um, how we say, um, expensive, yeah. It's uh, very easy to install. So we sell this very, very often. It's also dyno approved, and, uh, especially in higher RPMs, you have more power. So here we have the hose. For example, the intake hose, it's with six layers, so it's very stiff. It needs to be very stiff because you don't want to, the hose to collapse. And you know, where you, the engine is sucking air and then whoop, you'll get like this. So we, we want to avoid with this big hose. And then you can get this intake hose, the turbo inlet cord, which, also, which is also with TÜV, TÜV certified. So we have the individual number of, on each part. And same is for this part. We have also individual part serial number for this hose. So you can choose, you want to, basically if you want to have stiffer one, like this one, a billet one, or this silicone version. As I said, upgrade plugs, upgrade coils, and then, of course, each engine has also a weak point, and those are the pistons. So on this, pist on this engine, uh, the pistons are not very, very strong. 
So especially if you push uh, above 400 uh, horsepower, I recommend to change the piston. And once you do the piston, it's better to also install the, the rods. We have now the gold version. Yeah. And um, I think that's it. It's not so much in the end. Yeah. It's a good engine. I like this engine. And I'll show you the figures from the dyno now. So that's the dyno graph. Uh, as you can clearly see, it's the Mark 7 is the thicker line. Uh, this is the torque. Uh, the, the smaller line, this is the Mark 6. So also power-wise, you see here there's the Mark 7, but we had already more power. And uh, the Mark 6 is the thinner line. This, is, this area here is very significant. You can see already from low uh, RPM, we have much, much more uh, torque here. This is around 340 compared to 415. So which is 50, 60, nearly, nearly 70 uh, Newton meter more of torque in spool up. Yeah? That's because of the, the head, the turbo, and um, this is very, uh, um, they changed a lot on this compared to the Mark VI model. Mark VI is more or less compared to the Mark V turbo-wise yeah? and head, head-wise. This already on the Mark VII is a new design. Uh, we will explain this in another video. Or you can also look in the uh, video which we uh, made the oil cooler comparison or the oil cooler video where we also explained uh, a lot about the head on the Mark 7. So, and when you see all around this bumps are not so nice, it's because of the stage one and when the engine will start to learn and the adaptation, this will get more uh, flat, like a plateau, torque wise, and of course, this is power wise. Uh, I have to say that on the with what they also changed on the engine is the cam timing. So you don't have, uh, there is all, also the cam timing adjustment, but also they adjust the lift. So on the exhaust camshaft you have um, some uh, adjusters for each cam lobe, and they will start to adjust or to change the exhaust valve lift. So as the, the, the stroke, how much the valve is opening. This is changed here at this RPM. You can hear it also on the dyno when they when they shift it. If you know um, when it's coming, it's around 4,000 RPM. You can hear here clearly it's shifting. This is uh, changing the. This is why we have also more torque basically, because here is a different lobe compared to the top RPM. Also here at the end of the of the power curve, you see we have. 270 horsepower compared to 300, which is 35, nearly 40 horsepower more on the Mark 7. And this is basically all the way down here. Uh, keep in mind, this is just stage one. It's only stage one with maybe some spark plugs, as I explained, uh, or coils and intake filter, things which you can uh, change on your own very easily. And then just the first step on the ship tuning on the ECU. And now we go back to the Area 51 and I will show you which car to choose. So now do you make the conclusion? You know, that's my daily, that's my favorite one. But if you have a little, a little bit more money and you want a newer car, uh, as I say, we don't, normally we don't compare tires and the seats and the chassis itself. We, we only concentrate on the engine. But uh, I mean, this is a really big step forward. If you compare this to the former models, they invest a lot, not only in the engine and uh, gearbox-wise, also the chassis and the seats and the steering and everything. Everything is uh, state-of-the-art. It's really something brand new and really, really, really good. Uh, now it's the year 2020, end of 2020. And if you want to buy such a car, like a normal GTI, I'm talking about normal GTI, you have to invest minimum 15,000 euro. So the Sigma 6 is maybe something 8,000, 9,000, round about, something like this. So if you have the money, spend it on this car. It's not much to do. You can uh, get very easily about 300 horsepower, just small bits and pieces. These things, you can change it all on your own. Um, make some good oil inside as well, and then you run with 300 horsepower or even more very safely. Take care by driving. <laughs>